Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve, and today I'm going to be soaking at Volgar the Viking. Very much an old school, old school style platformer in the vein of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. The challenge is all about where the enemies are, where the traps are, learning the level placement, and hopefully not dying as much as I have done so far. There's a couple of upgrades that we can pick up for our character. We'll get a pair of shield, we'll get a helmet, we'll get the ability to charge up our thrown spears, which we have infinite of, by the way. And then we'll get a flaming sword. We can also get the blessings of the Norse gods to give us various other upgrades and things. Oh, how did you not die? Ow! Oh, oh, you little dick! I have actually done this level before a few times, but... Oh! Yeah! Actually having completed the level a couple of times, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to piss your way through it whilst recording and trying to narrate. <laughs> This one's going to go well. So it's about learning level placement. It's about learning the layout of the land. It's about learning where all your power-ups, all your enemies, all your traps are going to be coming from. And trying to get as perfect a run as possible. There's no lives in it. See, through repeat playthroughs, I knew he was going to pop up there. There's no lives in it. There is a secret down here, which I've discovered by accidentally falling to my death once. You can have as many goes at the level as possible, but there is a timer that will run. Oh, get away! Oh, you as well! And... It's about getting through the level quickly. Not dying. And really... No oh, shit! Not doing shit like that. I should have had him with a spear like I'm going to have him with a spear. I didn't lose my armor though, which is good, because now I can get the flaming sword. Very much like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, if you remember, you got upgrades to your armor, which changed. Whoa! Which were how many, you know, hits you could take. Oh, come on! To be fair, I was walking. Blocking is kind of automatic, but any attacks to the leg would now hit me. So, we block like that. And again, blocks to upper attacks which I'm trying to hold up, but obviously that triggers that. Oh, would have come from the helmet that I've just lost. And there goes my shield as well. So I've now got one hit left. But I can roll out of the way, which is something that I don't do that much. And I really probably should. I've never been able to work this down either. Whoa. Oh, there we go. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Oh, too early. Too late. Perfect. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Totally thought I'd avoid them. So yeah, the challenge is about learning the level, as I've said twice previously. <laughs> Although that's satisfying. That really is. You can take more than one enemy out with that. Oh, come on. The jumping, unlike... Something like, say, Super Meat Boy, or even early Mario games. You know, as opposed to late ones. <laughs> All Mario games, you jump a specific distance, direction, a specific... What's the word I'm after? At a specific velocity, that's the word. A specific speed. <laughs> so, unlike in Super Meat Boy, where you could... Oh! God, you dick! I think that's aimed more at me than the snake. The snake is only doing what it's programmed to do, <laughs> which is kill me. But because you only jump a specific distance as opposed to something in Meat Boy where you would jump depending on how hard you pressed on the jump button and how long you held it down for, you have to plan out your moves carefully as well. I mean, obviously Super Meat Boy is a game that required you to be so precise in your movements, but it had the fluidity of control where that felt a very natural thing. Here it's something that you should really be aware of and are planning with, as opposed to knowing, you know, that this jump would require you to be shit this jump. Adam, why did I walk into it then as well? Whoa. It's going well. 
Oh, you... I thought he'd walk forward again. Right. No fucking about this time. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting through this. And you take two hits. Everyone else explodes into a shower of blood and gore. Just one, but you take two. That's why I'm going to you in charge. One of them. Die already. Let's get me a Give me a helmet. Eat a stick. <laughs> it's a cross between a spear and a dick. And you. Yeah. Let's go down here. Whap, whap. <laughs> eat that, and you eat that. I want, I want a big giant flaming sword. Oh! Cockin. It's very frustrating because having done it before and known that I've spent far longer losing at the second level than I have on the first, to, to lose at the first level like this. Oh, thank God he jumped into that. It's quite annoying. Oh, shit! And I'm already forgetting everything that I've learned from this level. Big flaming sword! It doesn't just obscure your vision of where you are, obviously. It is ridiculously powerful. Three hits! Dead. One hit! Satisfying when they're dicks like that. Whoops. Oh, I want that higher. Not that high, though. Ah! Oh, do you know what? Whatever. Oh, that was stupid. But I will take it. That was also stupid. And that's even stupider. For fuck's sake! Bulgar the Viking, ladies and gentlemen. It appears that even when I'm trying not to suck at it, I suck at it. Now I know why Joby just lost it every time I made him play Super Girls and Ghosts. God, it's so frustrating when you, you know you've done it and you just can't. And again, it's not the game. You get frustrated with yourself. The game is very well designed. The levels are very well laid out and they're not unfair at all. They're simply a challenge in the way that Meat Boy was a challenge. Is a specifically designed level. Now get through it as quickly as you can. And none of it felt like your fault if you failed. Every time you messed up in Super Meat Boy, it was because you didn't jump right. You didn't remember that the next jump needed to be a short jump or the next jump needed to be a long jump. And this is the same thing. Nothing has changed since the last time I played this. Nothing in the level is different. It is me messing everything up. It's not the game. It's me. Like this dude coming down here now. Probably killed me twice already. And not now. Because I've remembered that he's there. And the spider that follows him. But this bit... God damn hate. You die. <laughs> there we go, thank you. Once you've got it down, once you've got the layout of a level down, you do feel good. When you remember everything, when you remember things and you're able to properly plan for things, oh! it feels good. It's just nine times out of ten, you'll cock something up and it'll throw you off. And it just feels really difficult to recover from. 
Like, I know there's a planet up there now. I don't know that I need to do that. To protect myself from him doing that. But that will always happen! Oh, why did I do that then? That way. <laughs> calm down, calm down. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. We're safe. We've got it. There we go. And now there's a pit down here. Yep. There we go. And there's another one down here. And there's him. Come on, endless waves. I've got you. Oh, there we go. So it feels good once you remember how to do it. This is now the second level. Uh, this is the one where I've had a few more problems. But once you've got that work down, once you've got that level and you know where everything is, it feels satisfying to go through it. And it's the same feedback that you get with me, boy. You feel like, hey, I've done it. I completed that level and it was awesome. And it's just an older school style of play. Uh, <laughs> because it's not as it's obviously not as fluid it's designed to be a specific type of platformer it's not going to be a Sonic or Mario game where the emphasis is on speed it's not going to be a Metroid style where it's on exploration it's a Super Ghouls and Ghosts style it's a Meat Boy style the emphasis is on the level design being incredibly difficult and you having all the tools you need to get through it the game doesn't say oh we're going to guide you through this lightly the game goes here you go here's everything you need to know now get good at it and it feels really good to get good at it it feels especially good to do something like accidentally discover something once because you died and then be able to incorporate that into your plays later on oh die it's just such a satisfying game. It's a great platformer, it's a great experience, and it's great for anyone who who did play Super Ghouls and Ghosts, even if they played it more for watching their friends get annoyed than they did themselves, which was me. And I'm sorry, Joby, but you know, you, you got enraged sometimes, it was really funny. <laughs> but I understand now, I really understand. This video is a, an apology to you, officially, because God, this is fucking frustrating <laughs> when you cut something up like that. Whoa! <laughs> this sword is fucking awesome, though. <laughs> so this is Volgar the Viking, ladies and gentlemen. Shit! Wanted to slash him in the face like that. Like, oh, come on, mate. Come on, I know you come in. Yeah, no. Fuck you guys. Then. It's Volgar the Viking, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, if you're not me, you probably won't suck at it as much as I do, but I'm feeling on a fucking roll right now, sorry. <laughs> this is going to be, you know, famous last words situation, but hey, I feel really good about this game at the moment because I'm kicking ass. And there is a secret there. If I kill those two dudes, shit, shit. <laughs> If I killed those two dudes, I could go get it, but at the moment, I'm not feeling like it. Because I want to get up to the boss, and that just cost me. Even though I should, because it's that. It's that bloody treasure chest there, which will have another helmet in it, so I can afford another hit. Oh shit, it's this. Whoa! Oh, 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 yes! Feels good. Whoop. Also feels good. Because <laughs> I can remember it coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. I know I'm near the boss as well. <laughs> I did beat the boss last time. I did not kick this much ass on this level the last time I played. And it's so fucking good. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, hello. Yeah, come on, mate. Come on, come on, bro. Whoa, oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh. I 
I've got this. I have so got this. No! No! <laughs> no! Oh, dude! I was so close! <laughs> Actually, I probably wasn't. You probably had like another two phases to go through before then. I got my ass unceremoniously handed to me, decisively and comprehensively by a guy who's like five times my size. But that's more gather backing, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Steve and I have sucked at it. Hopefully, you won't suck at it as much as I do. Bye bye.